Hi everyone, I just wanted to do another side-by-side -side comparison, um, expectations versus realities on some of these Arcteryx items. So I got through my Gamma LT versus Gamma MX jacket uh, conundrum and now I'm looking at some pants. Um, I won't get into my use case because I don't think uh, these pants really fit that, but maybe talk a little bit about what I think they will fit. Um, and let's just get started. So right now I have the Gamma LT pant here, men's and Gamma AR pants. I don't have the Gamma MX because I knew that wasn't really going to be what I wanted. So with that, if you don't know, you're going to involve the fleece lining. Uh, so it's just going to be a much warmer pant. And I think a lot of people would argue that if you're doing any sort of activity, it might be too warm. Uh, and you'd probably prefer to layer with something like that. So I thought the AR pants might be a little bit more of an all-rounder, of course, with the AR title. And maybe even get away with using it in some warmer weather. Um, and we'll get into that. So I, I kind of knew what to expect with the LT. I've been wearing the uh, LT jacket for about a month now. Uh, now that the weather's cooler here in Boston. And uh, so I, I'm pretty... I knew what I was getting into with the LT pants, and when I went to the Arcteryx store, they actually had it in stock. And it turns out these are much more readily available than the LT jacket was to find. REI had both of these in stock when I was there the other day, so probably could have gotten away with just uh, feeling them out and seeing what they were all about at REI, um, which you can't really say for all Arcteryx products. So I went ahead and just preemptively ordered these from Arcteryx so I can check them out and have my hands on them for a little while and show you guys. So the LT is definitely lightweight. Um, I think it's really a summer pant, warm weather pant, especially, um, you know, seeing how thin it is, there's really not much uh, in the way of insulation at all. It's exactly the same material as the, as the jacket, um, breathable, stretchy, and, and really just uh, perfect for whether you're hiking around or, you know, I wanted to use them for rock climbing, but I don't think they're going to be durable enough for that. Um, I really like the fit of these pants. When I was at Arcteryx, they had uh, an extra small, uh, so I could try it on. It wasn't the short length though, so it was definitely uh, too long for me. Um, and I'll get into sizing a little later, but I, I knew that these were gonna be cool, so I wanted to try the short length and see if that worked for me, and it turns out it did. Anyways, I got these in hand, um, and I really just wanted to test them against the AR. And by test, I mean test fit. I haven't really worn these, uh, and this isn't going to be any sort of performance review, but just sort of uh, what what you see is what you get. I know you're not really able to see it all on the pictures, so I'm going to get into some details here of the differences between. Um, as you can see with the AR, it's uh, a thicker material, but it's not lined. Let's see if I can get in here. Uh, so you can see sort of the back of the material there. It's the, you know four-way stretch or whatever the hell they call it um, and both pants have this fleece lining around the waist and in the fly so you can see that there it actually kind of looks a little cheap like a like an old uh, <laughs> like fleece sweatshirt or something but when you put it on it's super comfortable and um, the belt runs in between the fabric on the outside and that fleece uh, and it seems pretty resilient both of them have the built-in belt which is actually really awesome um, they are different uh, this plastic belt just kind of snaps into this system here and I must say I'm not really a fan of this one. Um, <laughs> I kind of wish I could switch some things out on each of these um, and along with the belt they both have the button closure here which are also different. This one's plastic on top of the metal uh, whereas this one is metal and it's a little smaller. <laughs> it feels pretty insignificant um, but I think it's pretty cool. It's just a snap away from getting your pants on. Uh, that's a small thing, but you know when you use pants every day, or, you know for your activities, uh, it's pretty cool. Just a snap, and as long as it's secure, it's pretty cool. So the belt fixture on this one is actually a hook, so you can. Um, it's not molly, so it's just the the one hook, and then you can tighten from there. And I actually really like that because I can see this one just popping off uh you know whenever especially in strenuous activity which arguably the ar is like more built for i think this isn't built for a lot of like alpine climbers and stuff but perhaps all the other layers are covering this so it's not a huge deal anyways moving down they both have uh the zippered pockets which is was my favorite thing when i tried these on i thought 
Um, you know, that's exactly what I need for rock climbing. I don't want stuff to fall out of the pockets, but you could argue that for any activity, right? So uh, I like the pockets. I like the zipper. Um, they didn't like throw any extra material on the LT for that. You know, lightweight, of course. Uh, on the AR, you can see that's uh, stitched in different fabric here. I'm sure it, it'll be lined. Yeah, it's lined on, on the uh, side that's facing the pants. Same with the pockets up here. You'll see there's some lining on the side facing your legs. So if any moisture gets in there, uh, it's not going to immediately affect you. They both have the gusseted crotch, really comfortable. Um, I found the LT to be much more comfortable after wearing it for a few minutes. Um, the AR, I don't know how to explain it, but it felt a little tighter on the calves to me. Like I felt, I felt the material, especially the stitch, just sort of sitting on uh, my right calf, uh, and it was kind of bothersome. But um, I'm pretty sure these pants are designed to be worn with base layers, and if you're trudging up a, a an alpine situation, then it's not going to matter much if uh, you can feel the pants or not. Um, Coming down to the cuff, just look at the material here. Um, they both have, or sorry, just the AR has these hooks where you can hook it to your uh, boots and you can uh, decide for yourself whether or not you're still gonna use gaiters. Um, here's the tension system where you can cinch it down. Uh, seems a little bit goofy. Uh, this is just regular cord versus shock cord, uh, which you'll find on the LT. And this one has a, a different mechanism, so kind of expected them to be the same. Also, the LT has uh, this gusset here. There's two on each side. Not sure exactly what the intention of that was for, uh, but again, maybe I'm just missing something. Yeah, so those are the major differences in getting into sizing. Um, I just want to show you here quick. Um, That worked. Four letter password, guess what it is in the comments below. All right, so as I said, I was an extra small. Um, it says 30, but I think that's a little large. So I would say I'm a 29 waist, 29 inseam, um, but they don't make extra, extra small. So I went with the extra small and it fits perfect. Um, and normally 30s, I need to use a belt but uh, this was perfectly snug and if I had to shove a couple base layer or anything under there, I think it would start getting tight. Um, and the regular size inseam is 31 and a half inches, which is definitely too long for me. Uh, I think, again, I'm 29 inches. So when you order the short version, uh, you subtract two inches. So these are supposed to be 29 and a half each, both of them being extra small short. And I assume for the tall versions, you're looking at, uh, oh, it looks like long and seam, you add three inches. <laughs> That's pretty intense. Um, so they definitely do fit differently. The waists are pretty much exactly the same, but the length of the AR is definitely longer. And I'm not sure if that's intentional to incorporate just the, the footwear, you know, maybe this pan is designed uh, to use in conjunction with or what, but it was significantly longer. And I found just to walk around the house in my socks, I had to cuff it. Um, and I ultimately wouldn't be purchasing these because uh, they're just too long. And unfortunately, that's the smallest size they come in. Uh, I'm a smaller guy, I guess, and uh, this is something I deal with across the board, so uh, it's not really shocking, but uh, pretty cool that the LT works. Uh, I'll probably be looking for pants at a different company just because Arc'teryx doesn't have the sort of rock pant that I'm looking for, and I'm not really willing to pay uh, you know, the dollar, the price point that, that they've set for these. Speaking of which, the AR is about 200 bucks, and I think the LT is running at 190 so $10 difference. If you, if you want the AR, I mean, that's uh, $10 more. You're getting a lot more, in my opinion. The LT, $180 for a pant like this. You know, the whole thing with Arc'teryx and the price point being that you're paying for quality so you don't have to buy again. The LT as a pant and like really if I were to use this for rock climbing, uh, you know, I'd be replacing it pretty quickly, I think. Um, 
Uh, if it was more affordable, maybe I'd be willing to continue buying the same pan over and over throughout the years as they rip, but I'm not really interested in, in paying $180 for that Liberty. Anyways, if you have any questions below, I don't think uh, this is a verse video, one versus the other, but more just want to show you uh, what you're, what you're going to get in the package uh, so you can make a better decision for yourself. Any questions in the comments below, comments, whatever. Um, maybe do a few more of these. Probably going to move away from Arc'teryx, but looking forward to seeing some new pieces uh, for 29, end of 2019 and uh, early 2020 coming soon. And uh, let me know what you're interested in. Maybe I can uh, get my hands on something and, and work, work it into a video. Cheers.